Hello everyone and thank you for registering in the Pop Art Printmaking Workshop. My name is Bogdan Koral Konikowski and I'm artist painter and president of Arteza Society of the Arts in Edmonton. I have a privilege to teach you how to create number of fun generating hands-on projects that enhance students' learning in core subjects. You can of course adjust uh, level of difficulty according to the grade level of you teach. For your convenience, in addition to this instructional step-by-step -step video, I have provided you with a complimentary PowerPoint presentation. And thank you to my wife, Isabella Ozelski, an artist painter, for assisting me with the production of this video. Now, let's start our creative adventure. Hello guys, today I want to show you how to print in a very easy way. You can do it in elementary school, junior high, as well as in the high school or even for yourself at home. All what you need is ink and I would suggest that you purchase the Speedball printing ink acrylic one, not the oil one. You need spatula or scoop some of your ink from the container and then spread it on the foam board and then we'll need foam. I would not use I know cut boards because they are dangerous especially for the kids. I don't like to harm myself so instead of using those sharp tools I use the scrap foam boards and they come in the size of six by nine. I simply cut them into the half and then I create nice images. I also for the printing I use different color of the paper but this is like a printing paper of different colors depending which color of the ink will I be using and notice like even with this particular image I used the color of the paper which was black with some yellow so I already have two colors just with doing one print and then if you want to you can apply on the roller two different colors and then you have even three colors in this scale you just have two but notice how important it is to think which color to use as a base for the image so that you can use to the max the color of the ink that you will apply on the top. We will be working on a very simple project. I just want to give you an idea how you can start and you can see that there's already half of the regular sheet of the, the scratch foam board. So I'm placing the package on this side. All what I need, my ink, I choose the color and then accordingly I choose the color of my regular printing paper. Then I need the foam board on which I will spread my ink. I need two rollers and I need two rollers because one of them will roll ink on the top of the scratch board once the image is on it and the other one will be to get the image on the paper. And yes, you can use the brayer. I like to use just the rollers. Now you will need some masking tape because you need to create a special board so that you can mark the size of your foam board with masking tape around so that later on once the image is scratched and we apply the ink you will be able to place it exactly when you want and then notice I also have another tape around and this tape represents the size or the dimensions of the sheet of paper that will apply on the top. Once I have the image scratch and with ink on the top then i'm placing the paper very evenly and then i will roll i will roll with my roller on the top to make sure that the ink will come on top of this paper so that's all what we need guys this is very important to have because it's acrylic ink, you can dilute it with some water if you want to just be careful not too much not too little i print the images for my kids and what I do I put two of them on one big sheet of paper 11 by eight and a half so that I can print it the way and then later cut and adjust them to this foam. Now notice the trick and it's very important how you will create this image. So I decided to create the print of a rooster. I will secure it to the surface of my foam board. Remember this is the one that we cut into the half and like this. Okay. The step is now to use the and the tool, it doesn't need to be a pencil. It just happened that I have the pencil here. You can use something not really sharp, like for example, this should be okay, but I will use the pencil. So now I'm pressing, but make sure that the pencil, if you use it, it's really not sharp because we don't want 
and the line coming through and make sure that you press it evenly and that the line will be a little bit wider and why we want to make sure that you will have those spots empty and you will see that they will stay white or not white the, of the color of the paper that you will be using if they will the surface will be too shallow then the ink still will be projected onto the paper Remember, those lines can't be too skinny. You have to make them wider. Now, I'm removing my template and notice what I have. I can really see the grooves in. So now I will be using the same pencil. It doesn't matter that the lines are left with the pencil in. See what I'm making? I'm making the lines a little bit wider and I make sure that they are deep, but I do not want to go through. If it happens, I make sure that you use masking tape because otherwise the ink will come through and we don't want to have it. Okay, as you can see, all the lines are already created. I make them wider here and there. Okay, this will be coming forward, I'm sure. This one. Okay, so we are ready with our sketch. You can see it here. I just deepened the lines. And now we have three colors and see what will happen. So paper is here on this side. This is a very important part for us. Now is the ink there. You can see. And now what I'm doing, I'm applying it. Notice very evenly on the like a line here. Okay. This is already diluted with some water, the ink I mean, because in the regular form it's a little bit too thick, at least for the project that we will be doing. I need to make sure that I have my surface here ready and I need to have two of my rollers. Paper towel, but I suggest that you have a wet cloth for the kids to clean up their hands. Notice, well, I have to make sure that the roller is completely covered. So when you work in the classroom, make sure there's not too much, not too little in here. When it's too much, again, there will be too much for the roller. So this is good. Still roll it here, well, a little bit. It's always with the first one. Maybe I will use my other board. Yeah, the thumb board. I don't need to have too much. This is not necessary, but I I just like to do it. Okay, I would have another board here on which I can place my image. And now, using the roller, I will roll the ink on the top of the surface. Don't leave any spots empty. Go to the sides as well. Make sure that it's evenly applied. Good. We'll leave this roller. And now very carefully, we have to transfer our image onto this board. Normally I would have two set it up, one next to another. Then I can work very efficiently, especially when you have a big class. Okay. You can see it, it's inside of the rectangle, the green one, clean up your hands because when you pick up the paper, you have to make sure that your hands are clean. And now, the first paper. So we use this off-white paper and make sure again that you place it evenly. Whoa, boom, perfect. Keep it with your hand and now with the clean roller, you press it evenly. And I suggest that you go to all sides. Notice my hand, it's still on pressing the image, making sure that I don't move it because otherwise the image won't be clear on it. Go to the sides and always check that the roller is clean. Have cloth, some dry, some wet, that the kids and you can clean up the hands. Voila, so now, carefully, notice how I take it. My hand is on the paper and then slowly but surely I roll it. Ooh, wow, 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 notice. Ha! What we have? We have the first image, notice, it's there. 
I just want to show it to you. Voila, so the first image is done. Now I want to do another print. So, let's see, I have to take it off. I have to clean up the surface, right? Because I don't want to have paint on it. And now I'm moving to the second row. So I'm taking my lovely rooster image. Again, I have my board with with the ink and now I'm rolling it again on the surface. Always check that this is not ink and this board. Because when it's not enough then the image will not show up properly the way you want it. The same here. You can right away see when it's not enough or when it's too much. So if it's too much you have to roll it off. Now this is done. I'm moving it on the side then I'm placing my board yeah, and then I'm transferring my image very carefully. See, putting it inside. I'm cleaning up my hands because I will get some ink on it. And I want to use this type pinkish color. Carefully to the edge. And now that's it, we can move it. Very good, I'm keeping it with my hand to keep it stable. And now I'm rolling on all possible sides. Now, we move the roller back on the side and now keeping my hand on the top of the paper, I'm removing the paper from the surface. Look at this. We have the second image and I will show it to you. Voila, the second rooster. So that's how you create the prints. If you want to have two different colors, you can do it of course you can do it but but you have to line up then the paper properly and it requires a little bit more of measurements which is okay and especially for the high school or even junior high for sure you can do it so you can see again the image you can see that the ink went a little bit too much inside so you can discuss it with your students and talk about okay so what went wrong did i press it too much did i get the lines not deep enough engraved and so on so on so this is how we work on it make sure that you have a flat surface on, on which the paper can dry and then enjoy it make sure that the kids sign it on the bottom side either right or left corner with the pencil i hope that you enjoy it and now and you will continue working with your students so have a good day and enjoy working bye